Thank you so much for watching Tomohichi the Music. This is so much fun showing you how to play guitar. That's what I love to do. And uh, today I'm showing you this one. Nice. This is 1959 Gibson ES330T. I just got this guitar. I mean, I, I bought this guitar around January at uh, Norman's Rare Guitar. Thank you so much, Norm. And Michael Lemo. Yeah. And anyway, well, we will do that one too. But today, let's talk about rock and roll, okay? So if you like rock and heavy metal, I think anybody who plays rock, you can miss this guy. Do you know this intro? Right? I mean, this is really uh, famous by Back to the Future. The, um, uh, you know movie and so if you if you google Johnny be good and um, I just want to you know make sure the date is right this is released by Chuck Berry um, March 31st and 1958 so I mean one year before this guitar so I thought maybe this is kind of cool to do you know play right and uh, if I google Johnny be good well guess what it says 19 85 about the movie that's famous anyway so so that today i will show you three steps three levels of this amazing song john be good and the first one is the intro you gotta know the intro very very important a lot triadic right and the rhythm guitar of course you have to understand chord progression sometimes we believe this way that way but maybe you know maybe i'm wrong Maybe you're right. We figure that out. And also riff between the song. Really great um, solo. I mean, solo riff, okay? So we do the three things. The reason I want to show you this song, because when I heard first by Jimi Hendrix, the album called In the West, th that's the album I had when I was a teen. Amazing album. I didn't know that's a compilation of all great live tunes. And the first song was this song, Johnny Be Good. So when I heard that song by Jimi Hendrix when I was a teenager, of course I didn't know what was the original song. But then when I came to America, playing a lot of different bands, different you know, uh, music, sometimes you have to know country music, rock and roll, jazz, everything. You know. So this is a wonderful song. As a guitar player, you have to know the intro. And then I learned original song. And then when I learned the original song, and I was like, wow, that's Hendrix learn exactly the same. That means Hendrix really learned you know, what um, Chuck Berry was playing. So guys, you really have to understand, this is key of a B flat. So the first uh, note, that's major third, five, six, one. And then this double stop, double stop means and play two notes each, you know, like that. So this case, right, you are playing, you're playing two notes in a fifth and root. So that's already really difficult rhythm. Just make sure it's on, right? Yeah, sure. Just in case. <laughs> Ray Charles, that's one. That's a triad. So let's learn this B flat triad. Root, major third, fifth, and root. Very nice. So you go. One more time. One, two, three. So basically, you're really doing B flat right here, the triads, just like a bar chord. Very simple. Well, 
Also both way. So the part is itself not too difficult, really based on one chord, right? Now this one. Oh, bend, but this this string is really thick. The reason I put this one because 1958, I think this is really thick string, kind of hard to bend. So I I have to show you that's really T bone Walker phrase. Like so, I think Chuck Berry borrowed T Bone Walker, but T Bone's in you know, a blues is shuffle, you know, shuffle swing, right? But then um, Chuck Berry took a little bit of idea from country music, kind of straight feel, you know. Instead of a so straight, so I get to that, but let's work on the first one, right? Really hard to play slowly. <laughs> I almost forgot. I think if you can do the beginning, that's good enough for me. That's really important. One, two, three. Okay. Can you do that? See, that's P bone. Ninth. Okay, now rhythm guitar. Now, most people, not most people, some people do kind of wrong way. This is the wrong way to me. That's like a rock, like you know, kind of a distortion sound. That's too much. How about this? So, so you see, first you have to go more open. Now, five. Beginning, he does. But for the e entire song, to me. Then go to, then like that. Don't go to five. Like that. Straight for you. Now, imp important part is like, you know, sometimes you want to know See, like this, if you listen really carefully, 
background musician, you know, musician playing a little bit swing. But Chuck playing straight, but back musician do I think this is too too early in a 58. People really playing still working on the you know shuffle swing. <laughs> really hard to sing straight play swing but anyway the few things you want to know is like you know um so like you know break so i i think this song is so good because this is only sort of shape you have to know right then chuck zoom typical like you know blues break normally one two three that's got that that's got that ah like that then chuck change that one so something simple you know so even this so already That's nothing to do with Johnny Be Good. So the break. I think you have to listen to it. So like even so the idea is you don't have to really know in you know, a pentatonic position like Sometimes people really, uh, you know, learn in five different position solo, and then you go to jam session. Says what key we in, and then are you gonna play those shapes? Okay, but see this one, I think cool. I only know one thing, but then this is it. You know, and so few things I think are very important. You have to play in time. So maybe this one. Can you listen? This is 80. Now here, sometimes people say, why not drum machine or why not backing truck? And I said, why not metronome? Because metronome gives you one thing is really good, time. But this time, this this time you can take it a swing or straight so 1958 musician want to play one a two a one a two three four So everybody want to play like that. Then Chuck go. Chuck 
Chuck goes, maybe I should have played. five right anyway you see the idea you can see you can swing so the metronome gives you time you can play feel shuffle feel straight feel like a Chuck Berry if you play shuffle beautiful swing swing shuffle you know And then Chuck Berry, 1958, he started playing straight. That was a baby of blues, right? Something like that. Okay. I think, I hope you understand how important this song is for everybody. And so, a lot, I mean, not a lot of song, but some of the song, jazz, blues, rock, and this, that. It's really important. So, we cannot do everything amazing, but at least you can think do things one things really good that's i think you know good theme to follow and um i always i always like to get this guitar and uh, i like a 335 but also you know this th this is really amazing so gibson 1959 and uh <laughs> I, first time i went to norm you know norman's uh, rare guitar and uh, this is it wow wow i i got it and the funny part is it, i have to tell a story this is funny i went to norman's rare guitar first time and i went to nam show for my job you know business and then stopped by music store and ha hang out with you know michael lemo my old student and um and uh, you know, I went to, together with Ben Gold, Goldsmith, one of my current students. We had a great time, but then I bought this guitar. So, why not? And again, this is strap. Air yeah, strap, yeah. This is it, see? Thanks, Beth. Beth is so sweet. She always said this one to my guitar playing, and I play well this way. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of lessons. And um, uh, thank you so much for following my, uh, you know, s subscribing this. Uh, Tomoshita music and so many um, videos and uh, uh, 
I think right now I have 777 or 78. I, I think I have a 200 more hidden, like unlisted, because I made so many lessons for Berkeley students. And um, yeah, uh, it's fun. Fun to make many, stu you know, um, lessons. And also, if you're thinking about the guitar wisdom, like if you've been playing, you know, guitar for a long time, but something not going well, something you don't know, not sure what's going on. I think it's it's time to open up, figure it out, what's right thing to study. And I have to tell you, I've been teaching guitar for many many years. I know what to do about this one. And I made so many um, detailed lessons at the Guitar Wisdom. So please join Guitar Wisdom and you won't miss anything from me, okay? Thanks again. So see you till next time.